Most people new to cameras don't realize that there's a 30 minute video recording limit on most DSLRs and mirrorless cameras until they run into that limit and can't figure out why. Now, this may not be that big a deal in most cases, but if you're using your camera to film a podcast, then this can be a huge inconvenience. So let's look at a list of cameras with no 30 minute video recording limit that'll work great for your podcasts. Hey everyone, Camber here showing you how to use your camera to make good videos and I know you're probably here because your camera hit that 30 minute video recording limit, but you didn't realize it so you went to push that record button to stop recording and realized it had already stopped on its own. Now, I know how frustrating this can be because I've experienced the same thing more than once. And it's even more annoying when you realize that it's a software limitation put into place due to old European tax laws. And I have another video explaining more about that if you're interested, but regardless of the reason for the limit, you're here because you want a camera that can record over 30 minutes. So let's look at a list of cameras that are all linked in the description that have no 30 minute video recording limits that will work well for your podcasts or other long form videos. The Sony A61 100, A6400, and A6600 are all APS-C cameras that have no 30 minute video limit. But if you want a full frame camera, the A7C, the A7R4, and the A7S3 all have no video limits either. And I like Sony cameras most for filmmaking, but for something like a podcast or filming a long recital or something like that, you really don't need all the extra features of a high-end camera. So let me know down in the comments what type of videos you're wanting to make so I can tailor the suggestion a little better for you. But there are also a few Panasonic camera options for you to choose from. The GH4 has a 220 minute video limit, but the newer GH5 has no video limit, and both are micro four thirds cameras. There are also some full frame options in the S5, the S1, S1R, and the S1H. However, the S1H is the only one that truly has no video limits, whereas the other three do have unlimited recording options depending on which mode you're using, which I'll list next to those cameras in the description. But as I said, these are high level cameras that are probably overkill for something like a podcast. And you could probably find a really good deal on something like a used GH4 if you don't need more than three and a half hours. And though most of these cameras have unlimited video recording capability, you have to keep in mind that they still will be limited by battery power and the capacity of the SD card that's in the camera. So be sure to have the correct type of cable to plug external power up to your camera so you won't have to rely on battery power as well as making sure your SD card is a large enough capacity to record the entire length of your podcast. And another thing to consider when filming your podcast is the type of lens. And chances are you're going to be in a smaller space and want to record both people so you'll need a wider angle lens. But this is going to change based on whether you're using an APS-C or a full frame camera. And if you don't understand why that is, then here's another video you can check out that will explain that. But I would suggest just something in the 16 to 35 millimeter equivalent focal length range and here are some suggestions based on the previous cameras. The kit lens would probably be good enough for the A6100, the A6400, and the A6600 if you don't need to go wider than 24 millimeters. Otherwise, I would go with the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter f4 lens, which will give you an equivalent focal length of 15 to 27 millimeters. And for the a7C, a7R4, and a7S3 cameras, I would go with the Sony 16 to 35 millimeter f4 lens. And for the Panasonic G GH4 and GH5, again, the kit lens would probably be good enough if you don't need to go wider than 24 millimeters, but otherwise I would go with the Panasonic 7 to 14 millimeter F4, which will give you an equivalent focal length of 14 to 28 millimeters. And finally, for the Panasonic full frame cameras, I'd go with the Panasonic 16 to 35 F4 lens. And those are all the mirrorless cameras that I could find that have no 30 minute video recording limit. And Nope, Canon does not make any DSLRs or mirrorless cameras right now that don't have the 30 minute video recording limits. But if you know of any cameras that don't have the 30 minute limit that I didn't mention, then please let me know down in the comments and I'll add that to the description. But if this video is helpful, then please help me out by leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't, watch some more of my videos, and I will see you in the next one.